Some of these rural bridges date back to the horse and buggy days. They cross streams and culverts and railroads. In Madison County, there are 130 rural bridges, and they estimate that 18% of them are structurally deficient. Among them is this bridge on Court Street, south of Wamsville. The County Highway Department is monitoring the structural integrity of this bridge closely. Eventually, it will have to be replaced. And when that happens, a bridge that sees little traffic could create some headaches to neighbors and businesses. Especially for truck traffic. Yeah. Garbage trucks, landfill, dump trucks to the stone quarry. If 18% of Madison County's bridges are deficient, it's slightly worse than the state average. According to a national study by the TRIP organization, a Washington-based research group, 14% of rural bridges in New York State are structurally deficient, making it the 17th highest rate in the nation. When you drive over these bridges, you may never know they're falling apart until you get underneath and then you look up. Now, the dilemma that a lot of counties are facing is that they cannot afford to replace all these rural bridges, and federal and state money for these projects is drying up. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Madison we, County's Highway Superintendent, Joseph Wasinski, points out that the highway budget in 2007, when he took office, was $17 million. This year, it's $12 million. We're just looking for a way to shift existing monies that are already there into, into a designated program so that it can be used more efficiently. Madison County was able to secure a half million dollars from the state to pay half the cost of replacing this bridge over the CSX rail lines. It's north of Wamsville on the main access road to county offices and other important services. But Wisinski feels that the state assistance for this rural bridge has become more the exception than the rule. The state has prioritized it based on, on their priority rankings. Mm -hmm. and, and by their priority rankings has, has left out a lot of these rural bridges. Next month, this bridge north of Wampsville will be shut down for repairs, while this bridge south of Wampsville will have to wait. Reporting from Madison County, I'm Jim Kenyon.